Now the property's in my name. And but you weren't there and you didn't bid. But, he, but neither was the deceased. And he, that's the point. The trustee is representing. It's, 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 this is something that's done. in the next phase. Okay, this, okay fine. We'll, we'll, this, just, we'll just pretend statement. that's right what you're saying, okay? Yeah. Even though it doesn't make sense. Now well, you know, $70,000. Just for the record, do you know West Virginia is only one of five or six states left with the deed of trust system? That does that. So yes, you're right. I mean, it's the archaic medieval system, you know? That's where one It means they're not helping poor people. That's right. Okay. Well, never now, okay. a month later, later, okay? okay. A month later. You guys sell this property to Steve Giannini for four thousand dollars, right? Okay. That's a thousand less than my bid. Well, plus you've done bought it again. Okay. Now, what sense does that? Here's make? here's the deal. Now we own it. We put our bid in for the thirty-four thousand dollars. It was deeded to us. Now, for the first time, as the owner, we have staff. We send staff out to look at the property. Up to that point in time, no one's looked at the property. You want to see the property? No, I've I've got pictures. I know the property. I'm saying, at that juncture, before the before it was deeded to us. No one looked at the property. Once it belongs to us, we send people out to secure the property and look at the property. And in fact, determine when that, when that was done, it was determined by. And let's, let's, before we go there, at that sale, you were the only other person who made a bid. And typically, for the trustee, Mr. Pill, he may make notes of who was there, who made well, it was bids. Well, my cousin actually but, bought. But but basically, he only he's only obligated to write down in his notes and his report who actually won the bid. So he doesn't. He doesn't let us know. He didn't do anything. He just said, not high enough, and walked in the courthouse. And that's all he's obligated to do. And if, 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 unless you were a high bidder, he doesn't really take notes as to who did it. So at the, here at the housing fund and any place else, no one knew any other bidders existed. Can I ask a question? Sure. If you're the auctioneer, the one, you know, the trustee, mm -hmm. you go on the courthouse steps, there's no re record at this point in time as to what is the high bidder, low bidder, or anything in between. And they say, is there anybody here to bid on XYZ property? And somebody raises their hand and says, yeah, I'd like to bid on it. Well, what's your bid? 5000 Does the trustee say it's not enough? It's not yeah, because he, he doesn't go to any foreclosure sale. But does he, does he say that to the people? He says minimum thirty two five. Yeah. Oh, he did say minimum. Yeah, we, before we send them out, we, in the correspondence we have, in it, we give him our minimum bid. Okay, so he actually tells whoever's there, the public, whoever, whoever's there. No, he didn't say that. Before. No, he doesn't tell you what the minimum bid is. He lets you bid. Okay. Why isn't that in the the legal notice is not required to be in the legal notice. Why? And at that time, we do not know that that whole and, amount. And because and, and the amount changes, surely you know what what's owed on a piece of. No, property. not 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 necessarily. That amount that amount changes because each day there's a per diem interest. Charge in order for the that adds in order for cost. the trustee to refuse a bid, he has to know what his minimum is. Exactly. Does he ever tell anybody in there from the public what it is? If you no, would call no. in, if you call in no. beforehand, if we have people who call, that, I that call, call the day in. after and they told me thirty-two five. Right. If you oh, would call in the day before, office. because we have to wait to get the publication fees and right. sometimes so, the newspaper. Because so there's what's happening. If, so if you call in, I will tell you what. If it I got is. a foreclosure on Friday, so he Friday. just says that's not high enough, and he can just turn around and walk just away. Just walk away. Yeah, that's what he did. So you have to call in either advance or. Exactly. Because you have to have a minimum okay, now, of that. Okay, the question is, they sold the property for 4000 okay. Was there another public auction held? No, no, no. No, there's not a requirement for us to have a public auction to resell property we own. You can sell it to your friends for $4,000. Well, we can sell it to a, a bona fide purchaser for $4,000. I was I'm bona fide. You wouldn't sell it to me for five. But no, but that was at the sale. No one knew you made an offer. Here, because he didn't write it down. If he wrote it down, it seems like a month later you would have called up the only bidder and said, hey, look, if we don't we, want this place. Trust me, if we'd have known that someone was out there offering more, absolutely. We would, we would, well, Richard we Pill knew because he turned the bid down. But Richard Pill does, as you just said. He, he didn't take any notes on this. He well, does. he's not a very good trustee then. Well, but he's not taking. I mean, I but, take notes. But I'm Richard, just a mechanic. But Richard Peel's doing hundreds of foreclosures. He's not going to the notes taking notes out of all the people who show up to make bids on houses. They're really not going to do us much good. We're only interested in someone who wants to make a serious, legitimate bid. Okay. Well, how did this this Giannini get involved then? Giannini got involved because how did he know you was going to give it away for four thousand dollars? Because we sent and once we went out and viewed the house and recognized that the house was not worth anything, we were going to tear the house down. So we contracted with a contractor to tear the house down. Why didn't he go back to the public or at least let this poor kid stay in his father's house for four thousand dollars? That's just not right. Can't do that. I agree. I can't do that because no. I have because in that in this in this statute here, one of the public. Then your statutes are wrong. No, you said that's why. Let me answer your question. It's a legislative problem. No, let me ask you. You said you you said you want me to answer your question. So in this statute here, I have an obligation to put people in safe and decent sanitary housing. Once we went out there and saw ourselves. 
that the house wasn't safe or decent sanitary. We wouldn't let anybody stay in that house. How can you say that? Well, you obviously I, didn't see this did house, it? sir. Mm. How can you say that? I took a picture of the house. I mean, it's right there. What's wrong with that house? Well, first, first of all, that's not my skill set. I'm not the guy that makes that you determination. You can see. Yeah, but well, there's, a, there's a, another part of the story after this. Now, uh, a I, week later, this guy sells the house that was to condemned. That you guys are saying is condemned. For $23,000. So he made $19,000 for doing nothing. Well, that does happen, I'm sure. And, and obviously it happened in this situation. That's not what the intent you're, was. You're, you're talking to me like, hey, the rain just falls. I mean, yeah. this, this isn't right. This was set up to help the poor people of West Virginia, and you're just kicking them when they're down. Well, I don't, I mean, I, I know. I mean, I don't have a dime invested in this. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? I hear you. It just How often does right. this happen? All, all the time, I mean. Well, we do about 104, as you'll see, that we do about 100 foreclosures a year. Yeah. And most times, we sell them back to the investor, but we have different funding sources, FHA, Veterans Administration, uh, the conventional financing. And so they have their own, excuse me for Sometimes they buy, the, they buy the house. But, Most but they have the, when you sell it back to an investor, do they go back through you again, or do they go through their own particular in-house in process? FHA, it goes, I mean, it goes FHA and VA goes directly back to them. They and are they deeded got, they to process them, and through, that's whatever they have to so do So they the process property. it through their network, or yes. their internal Yeah, same thing with Fannie yeah. Mae. That's in those cases, right it'll back. be like a joint deed, generally speaking, mm -hmm. from the trustee to the housing fund and to... And, and through us and to directly to VA or is, is your development authority involved with a lot of houses in West Virginia? We do. We, we do a lot of single family. I mean, in the loans. tens of thousands or Tens. hundreds of thousands. We've probably done over thirty-five thousand or more loans over the over the history. A ton of loans, and our foreclosure rate is really not that high yeah, in, right. in the scheme of things. Because once again, we try to work really hard to keep people in houses. I know this situation. Uh, Mr. Fulon doesn't doesn't pan out and, and look clean. And, and, it and doesn't. You, it couldn't to you. Well, I mean, because it, it couldn't to me because one. I mean, water's wet, the sky's blue. If if once again, had we known, and I'm not saying that's not right, but had we known that there, you know a, what? that there was an interested buyer up there that would have paid more, then we would have gone with an interest buyer. But in our in our scheme, like when we look at that house, it was going to cost us more money. To repair it and bring it up to the standard. You give away thirty thousand dollars because it's going to cost us much more money in our eyes. How could he do house. that when he made nineteen thousand overnight? Yeah, but see, what you're what not, you, but what see, you, all you're dealing with is, is you're dealing with the sale. You and, no, I'm dealing if, with you. Why didn't you take this back no, to a public sale and take half no, no, of the thirty? You're five? saying you're saying the nineteen thousand dollars is what he got. But see. You and, and what I, he made. What, well, you and I don't know what the condition of that house was. I know what the condition was. I've been in the house. the standard that I'm placed at. As a housing development How much you fund. make a year? Hundred thousand? <laughs> well, I mean, we're talking about a neighborhood yeah. where, where the, the the mean income is probably twelve thousand dollars. They're not in your world, sir. That's well, what this housing development fund was set up for. And to we help do these people. A You're ton not of doing that. We can all count. We do a ton of this. <laughs> You're not doing that. We, we have home programs that put this people in houses. This kid took care of no his cancer-stricken daddy for two years, and y'all threw him out in the street, and they give it to a guy out of Smithers. And you're going to tell me you're doing something? Yep. Well, what, what, what we're you looking don't at... You not even believe the words coming out of your mouth. Well, what you're looking at, I do believe the words that we you do couldn't. a lot. You I've made been here, a lot. No, I, no, I've been here no doubt about it. But $150 million to play with is... Uh, I can't imagine that kind of money. Can you? Well, it's probably, probably less than fourteen. If it was taxpayers' money, it would be a whole different ballgame, but it's not. Well, it's still private investors' money, and I'm sure they don't want you giving $30,000 of their you know, money. You know, the problem with this is... The governor appoints, we looked into the background, the governor